Social distancing makes volunteering and helping our community even more challenging, but we're still seeing organizations, churches and groups taking care of one another. Erica Ferrando shows us how people are coming together. These are food industry workers picking up warm meals for their families. It means a lot to them since right now they're all out of a job. The only thing we could do right now is just feed them and feed their families and get to see them six feet apart. Creole Cuisine Restaurant Concepts had to shut down most of their restaurants, including Broussard's. That puts 1,300 employees temporarily out of work. To help, they're serving these workers and their families. Give them a little love. Creole Cuisine is preparing 3,000 curbside meals every day for as long as they can. I'm coming over. Many workers like this are also going to Second Harvest Food Bank for help for the first time. People from all walks of life who have suddenly lost their job and know that uh, they're going to have to have extra food in their house. Second Harvest has seen overwhelming support. The response from the community has been tremendous. But as grocery stores are running low, so are their shelves, and they're desperate for more donations. We have about a week and a half's worth of food right now. We hope more is on the way. Churches are also finding ways to feed those in need. Hillary Bass is with the St. Timothy Missions and Outreach Team. We are creating a corona um, response ministry. As part of that, this weekend they packed and delivered lunches to homeless in New Orleans. I have seen the most beautiful things you can imagine from humanity when times like this happen. People really come together. Coming together even while we're forced to stay apart. In New Orleans, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. This is important. If you need food from Second Harvest Food Bank, you can call 211. Or if you can donate or volunteer, go to no-hunger.org.